Darkroom 9.2 has a new green screen algorithm and a new chroma masking tool that I'm going to show you here. The first thing I want to do is if we go into setup tab and you go to general settings, you can uh, change which algorithm we're using. The latest version is much improved over all previous versions and much simpler to use. Uh, it is a little bit slower because it's doing much more math, so there may be times when you want to switch back, but um, probably unlikely. So the new algorithm works very well. The options are much simpler. Every once in a while, though, you're going to get to a case where someone is wearing a color very similar to the background. I've got a couple different examples here. Or an example like this where the group is too big for your background. So in that case, you would want to use our new masking tool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn a border on for this one so you can see the dropout is pretty bad. And again, with the new algorithm, you can do much better than you could before in bringing this back. You can adjust this and you see we're starting to get it back but we're going to start to lose some in the hair so I'm going to put it back to defaults here and that'll take a second to update and if I go into the chroma mask tool right here you see I have uh, it's basically like the wor retouch workshop but I can edit the mask so the first thing you might want to do is switch the background that kind of helps you see things a little clearer I'm going to use red on this one uh, I have my keep or drop out and you see my brush on the screen. Now I can adjust the brush size up here or I can use the bracket shortcut similar to Photoshop to make my brush larger and smaller. It's also handy to have a wheel mouse so I can zoom in and out of the image quickly and at this point I can just keep and you see his tie and this flower and if I want to zoom in I can use my wheel mouse and then I press spacebar to get the hand to scroll around the image like so and zoom back out and I'm just gonna do a quick job here but you can imagine you can go in change your brush size and do some pretty detailed editing and basically hit save and you see that basically we're telling darkroom not to drop out anything that we've brushed over and that is the chroma masking tool I'll show you another example that it's handy as well if you have a group that doesn't quite fit on your background you can see that here I'm using a graphic list to just toggle between backgrounds but let me go ahead and go into the chroma mask and again I can change the background if there's something that uh, makes more sense to you um, in this case I want to drop out parts so I can just paint over this I'm not going to do a very detailed job but you get the idea and same over here and again I can use my wheel mouse to zoom in and the space bar to scroll around the image save and now you've got an image where you've fixed up your background and that is the chroma masking tool